Welcome back. In this second of a two-part episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to configure static routes on a router and a layer three switch. Next. For this demonstration, I've set up a specific network topology. It includes layer three switches, which means they are routing capable. The switches are connected over VLAN 100 using access ports. This configuration allows VLANs with identical names to exist on both switches without causing any conflicts. For instance, both switches can have a VLAN 1 assigned to different subnets, and since there is no trunk link between the switches, there's no conflict. To demonstrate static routing, I have connected my PC, labeled PC3, to an access port that is a member of VLAN 15 on a layer 3 switch. I've assigned a static IP address to my PC, which resides within the subnet of VLAN 15. From PC3, I can easily access PC2, which is in VLAN 25. I can verify connectivity by sending ICMP requests to a device in VLAN 25 and receiving responses. However, pinging PC1 in VLAN 20 presents a different situation. PC1 is connected to switch A, and there is no direct layer 2 or layer 3 communication path to it. Attempting to ping PC1 will show no connectivity. To establish this connectivity, we need to create static routes. First, I'll connect to switch B to create a static route. I will show that both switches are interconnected through VLAN 100 over access ports, which are port one on each switch. In the IPv4 configuration, I will set a static route indicating that to access network 10.20.20.0/24, packets must be directed to the next hop, which is the IP address of layer three switch A. After applying the static route, it's crucial to note that although switch B can now direct packets correctly, switch A still won't be able to route the return ICMP replies because it has no route to the network of PC3. To address this, I'll connect to switch A via a console cable and create the necessary static route using the command line interface, CLI. After entering the global configuration mode on switch A, I'll use the command IP route to create a static route. If I want to reach network 10.15.15.0/24, I must direct the packets to switch B, which has the IP address 10.100.100.2. To confirm that the static route has been added, I'll type show IP route and observe that the static route is present in the routing table. Now, consider accessing the internet. Here, the default route becomes critical, as it usually provides access to the public network or the internet. To illustrate this, I'll change the configuration slightly by adding a connection through VLAN 1 to a router, which will provide internet access and the default route. The default route is usually indicated by 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0 in the routing table. This route can be obtained either statically through manual configuration or dynamically from a DHCP server. Connecting the switch to the router will result in the switch receiving an IP address for VLAN 1 from the DHCP server. Refreshing the static routes will display the default route provided by the DHCP server. It's important to note that by default, the router will only provide internet access to clients in VLAN 1. To extend internet access to other networks, such as VLAN 15, an additional static route must be added to the router to ensure return internet packets can find their way back to the correct network. If you log into the router and navigate to the static routing section, you can see the static route that has been created for network VLAN 15. Without this static route, the router would not know how to route return packets from the internet. To manually create a default route on switch A, the following configuration command would be used. IP route 0.0.0.0 to match any destination network address, then 0.0.0.0 to match any subnet mask. 
The last IP address is the next hop address that the packet should be sent to on its way to the final destination, usually a router. That's all there is to it. Now you can configure static routes using the web user interface or via CLI. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.